Hello and welcome to the Friday, January 26, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. So we got an interesting info stealer today that uh, Xavier came across and that he wrote up. Uh, first of all, it does some a little bit unusual uh, geotargeting in that it apparently attempts to avoid Vietnamese users. This check is just done by IP address. On the other hand, it also includes a code to look for cookies that are used by a browser popular in Vietnam uh, called uh, Cock Cock is the name of uh, the particular uh, browser. I suspect that uh, this particular malware was written by someone in Vietnam, maybe trying to not get in the crosshairs of local law enforcement. That's why you often sort of see these specific uh, exceptions. And since this browser is popular in Vietnam, the author may have included it because that's a browser that the author may use. Of course, that's someone speculative. But uh, the other interesting part is that one particular type of cookie that it's looking for is a Facebook cookies, in particular for the ads manager. Ads manager at Facebook.com, that's being used uh, by businesses who advertise on Facebook. And I've mentioned this a couple times before that this sort of has become a pretty hot commodity credentials uh, for uh, these advertisers because once you own an account that's able to place ads in Facebook, you can use this account not just to get uh, free ads, that's of course nice to have, but also to then uh, post malicious ads on Facebook. And uh, these accounts would then of course be disabled after uh, some time and having throwaway accounts uh, that were stolen from legitimate users of course makes them quite interesting to post ads for malicious tools. This bot does heavily use uh, Telegram's API for uh, command control, which again is nothing really that terribly unusual. Telegram has a pretty simple and straightforward uh, API. Virus total score for this malware is six out of 60. So biggest takeaway here is realize that accounts being used to post ads on Facebook are targeted and these are often small businesses of course social media managers and such that you may not consider sort of at the top of your list when you sort of think about who is being attacked most and security researcher uh, tommy misk uh, did uh, discover an interesting issue around iOS notifications. In iOS, it's difficult, if not impossible, for an application to run in the background. And part of this is performance, saving a battery, but there are also some privacy aspects to this. If an application isn't running, it can't collect user data. And iOS will terminate applications that are in the background after some time of inactivity. This can, however, be bypassed with notifications. Whenever an application receives a notification, it will wake up and be able to send data back to the developer. And apparently there are a number of applications using this. Most notable and probably not unexpected is uh, Facebook and TikTok, but there are many, many other applications that use that same abusive behavior with notifications in order to better track users. Apple apparently has taken some note here and in future versions of iOS, developers will have to justify why they're using this uh, notification API. We'll have to see if this will work. For now, you must, if you want to avoid this tracking, completely disable notifications for applications that you don't trust not to track you. Of course, you will lose some functionality with this, like in Facebook, any notifications about new posts. And mobile devices, of course, are a great resource to track users, given that we all carry our phones around with us. And along those lines, uh, Joseph Cox with 404 Media published a great sort of investigative report into a company that does offer phone 
tracking or mobile user tracking, specifically with sort of a national security twist. The company is called Patterns with C or Z as the last letter. And uh, what they apparently are doing is essentially using ads that they're placing in applications in order to track users. And they're offering an easy to use dashboards where you can pick individual users and then essentially follow what websites or what applications uh, they're using as long as they're using ads and collect other information about these users. So any application that is displaying ads as part of the application is susceptible uh, to this particular tool. The app developer is not specifically signing up uh, to display ads from patterns, but they may be displayed via the commonly used ad networks. As a result of the investigation, some of the large advertising companies like, for example, Google and the other here mentioned Pubmatic have already cut ties with patterns. But of course, there are many, many other smaller players in this market that are still placing ads for patterns. Well, and this is it for today. If you aren't already subscribing in your podcast app to this podcast, please do so and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.